So when the Quran talks about the Torah and the Gospel, the Quran is talking about the original Torah of Moses, which does not exist anymore. Mm. And the Quran talks about the original Gospel, which does not exist in its entirety. Does it exist in part? Absolutely. We as Muslims believe that the Gospel of Jesus Christ has survived in documents that can be seen today. For example, the New Testament. We believe there are remnants of the Gospel, the original Gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to be found in the text of the New Testament. In fact, in the four Gospels, there are remnants. For example, in chapter 5 of the Quran, same chapter, we are told that Jesus said to the Israelites, وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلُ اُعْبُدُ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ O oh, the children of Israel, worship one Lord, your God and my God. This is amazing. This is amazing. Where was this said? In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29, clearly confirms this. So the Quran is simply alluding to the fact that that particular portion in the Gospel of Mark is definitely from the original Gospel of Jesus Christ. Do you see what he said? He goes, the Quran confirms the original Torah given to Moses. Here's our challenge for you, Adnan. Show us where the Quran says, and I hope there are Muslims here will take me up on this challenge. And there's a reason why I'm issuing this challenge. Because it again shows that they're dependent on the Bible for this information. The very Bible they're calling into question, though the Quran says the Bible is the uncorrupt, preserved word of God. He said the original Torah was given to Moses. Folks, you know there's not a single verse in the Quran that tells you who the recipient of the Torah is. There is not a single verse in the Quran that says the Torah was given to Moses. It says a book, Kitab, was given to Moses. So my challenge, Adnan, and I hope he takes me up on this debate challenge because I'm going to have a field day with him. I want to say, Adnan, can you show me the Quran where it says the original Torah given to Moses? He won't be able to show me because it's not there. So I'm going to ask Adnan a follow-up question. Where did you get this understanding the Torah was given to Moses? Either he's going to have to appeal to the Bible, which he just called into question, or the Hadith. But the Hadith now is going to destroy his case and prove David Wood is right and Muhammad is a false prophet. Because those are the same Hadith that David cited saying that Torah that the Jews had, that is the Torah of Moses preserved in uncorrupt form. You can't have your cake and eat it too, Adnan. You go to the Hadith, you destroy your position, show that David Wood is right, Muhammad is a false prophet. You go to the Bible, you destroy your position and show, once again, that Bible has to be the Word of God, that God has preserved, what, which we are to use to judge your prophet and make sense out of what the Quran says. You lose either way, Adnan. Hey, Surprise, David. Hey, ch hey check this out, Sam. Uh, Ahmed Haki said, uh, can you read the whole Tafsir Ibn Kathir? of Surah Maida 68. Then read the next verse. You'll understand from the two that Torah and Bible are corrupted, but those who are good are going to heaven. Now notice, he can't tell us, go to the Quran to find that the Torah and the Bible are... We know that Ibn Kathir believed that the... We I know that, that Ibn Kathir believed that the, the, the Torah and the Gospel have been corrupted. We know that he has to take these passages and try to give them a meaning and to, in, to interpret them as if Allah is saying that they've been corrupted. We're saying, where does Allah say that? That's why you guys need people like Adnan Rashid and Ibn Kathir to tell you what Allah really means because you can't, you can't quote Allah because all Allah ever does is affirm our scriptures. According to what Anan Rashid tells us, Allah is so unclear that he even misled Muhammad because Muhammad thought that Jews and Christians still have the Torah and the Gospel. But then you have later Muslim scholars who are saying exactly what we say. There's no way this can be talking about the corruption of the Bible. <laughs> Muhammad wouldn't have pointed to that and said, hey, that's the word of God. He wouldn't have said, I believe in you and the one who revealed you. Allah wouldn't have said that no one can change his words if his words have been changed over and over again. There's no way this. And so... There, notice, if Muslims are right, then we're we're proven right, right? If Adnan Rashid is right about the Torah and the Gospel, then we're right. Allah is so unclear in his speech that even Muslim scholars, people who dedicated yeah. their lives to understanding the Quran and the Hadith, they're misled by him. And they're saying, no way their, their books can be corrupted because of what Allah and Muhammad say. So, the, so they're, they're led astray by Allah and Muhammad. Exactly. But remember, that's a surprise, David. That's a surprise. Here you have more. Here you have more. Uh, he says, uh, 
Uh, Jesus was not Adam says, what Torah? What revelation? The one revealed to Moses and Jesus? Where does Quran say they were following them? Show me the verse where Allah says that the books that they had were. And then uh, I guess he continued, dude, look at what you're saying. What books? What books? Muhammad says, Jews, bring me the Torah. You're saying, what Torah? What, to what Torah do Jews bring you if you say, bring me the Torah? So notice, they've got the same delusions that they think Christians have all these different Bibles and stuff like that. And you say, Christian, bring me a Bible. Who knows? It could be like 50 million different things. Sam, do we know what Jews mean by the Torah? Of course yeah. we do, so because that, so it's their language that Muhammad is aping. We're dealing with people yeah. who are so utterly clueless that, yeah. I mean, we have, to do, we have to explain things on like a first grade level because they've, yeah. they've been in this, yeah. in this cult for so long. They've been in this cult for so long that they don't know what anyone means by anything. And you can't blame them. We can't figure out what their God means by anything. He's saying clear words. The Jews have the Torah. The Christians have the gospel. And we should go, what? What do they mean by that? We don't know. We don't know what any of this stuff means. <laughs> wow. <laughs>